morning everybody it's sunday april 5th and i just finished work for the day a short day and i'm headed down to deer island point i don't know just to sit by the water for a little while and i figured i was tagged by courtney at fiber fox studios and courtney and i'll put her information down below to do the 23 favorites that the mod squad did so i thought well what better place to do it than sit down by the water which is where I find it the most peaceful and being Sunday morning I get my easy day and I also thought that I would read the storm of the century and that would be you know my video for today so I'm just kind of going to chat with you till I get down to the point and then we will uh, do the 23 favorites and that way maybe you get to know me a little bit better and I will be tagging people and I hope they do it. Um, anybody that doesn't get tagged, you know, feel free. It's kind of fun, especially during these times with our self-isolation, shelter in place, self-quarantine, self-exile. Like I said, we've used all the labels, all of the, you know, adjectives to describe what we're doing. Um, I know there are a lot of people that are starting to go stir crazy, cabin fever, and what have you. Because I'm gone so much from home for work, when I get home, I'm going to stay home. And, I mean, even to take a ride around the island, I just don't want to leave the house. I'm quite content. Um, in fact, my husband even said to me last night, am I going to spend all my time in the craft room? And I really haven't been spending that much time. Um, I do have some videos prepped in there to get ready to film. I wanted to yesterday, but I had so many interruptions yesterday that it was impossible to get my videos done. So, work on that today. Tomorrow and Wednesday are two long days, so I won't get much done then. But um, as far as the, the upcoming videos, there is, I've got a uh, finished object and I've made progress on some of my whips. You can see from the progress keepers that I have actually been getting, trying to really not working on them diligently because I do want to start some new patterns. I have some patterns. I've showed you some of them that I want to get started. Um, I have my yarn review. I had to redo the one swatch with a small crochet book. And I have a small, my horseman's order showed up and I will show that on, you know, it's, it's, the box is open because you leave the box outside, open it, put everything in a plastic bag, leave it up. You know how, what they're telling you to do. So that's what I did. So it is unboxed, but I will show you what I got. I'll tell you the deals. Um, the spin right order should be here Monday or Tuesday. So that in itself will be its own video. And we'll see what else. Um, I, I've just been crocheting and, and knitting and I got some housework done this morning. I was up at about quarter to six, and I like to quiet time by myself in the morning. I looked at my emails, which I think I have to answer. I've got a couple packages I've got to get out this week. I'll get them ready to go to the giveaway winner. I also have somebody had contacted me about the knitting needles and APNs, and those will be being going out this week to that person. So. Anybody else, that is, anybody else was interested, I, I'm sorry, but I already have somebody that they're going to, but I appreciate the interest. And I think instead of going down to Allen Point, I'm going to go down here to Fairhaven Morph. And I will turn the camera around so you can see what I'm looking at. Um, the client I just left, you can just hear the seagull. We're just quite active this morning, quite noisy. So I'm going to turn the camera around. This is coming down to Fairhaven Wharf. I'm going to drive out onto the dock and we'll do the 23 favorites. And we'll read you the story. This 20th century come in. These are some of our salmon boats. I'm just going to drive out here to the water. Oh, there's a seagull. Speak of the devil. There's the seagull. And I thought this would be a better view here and just sit at the water. All right, I 
will uh, turn the camera around now. I'm back. Okay. So they did this 23 favorites. So my favorite color. Well, lately my color is anything that has to do with waters, which would be blues and teals and blue greens. Um, I've been on this thing with uh, water colors. Um, I love all colors, um, but I've been doing a lot of things with teals and blues and anything I ordered it seemed to be coming in colorways that reminded me of the uh, of the water my genre of music I love all music um, I do not like rap and I do not like headbanging heavy metal other than that um, I play classical piano I listen to all kind of music uh, modern dance music country I listen to them all my favorite food that's easy. Spaghetti. I, I, my dad said I used to make better sauce than my mom. I made it like my grandmother did. Favorite animal. I, I love animals, but I'm, I'm a dog person. Um, I love my dogs. You know, I've shown pictures of my Bella and my little Larry that passed away. I love my, my, my puppies. Favorite soda. I don't drink much soda. I'm more of a water, iced tea, coffee drinker. But I do occasionally crave a Coke. So I guess it'll be Coke. Favorite holiday. Christmas. Um, I just love the feeling that everybody has for that couple of days a year. A couple of weeks. Um, it's just the world's a better place. See, people seem to be nicer. I just wish it was like that all year long. Favorite book? Oh, that's. I used to be an avid reader, and I'm talking four or five, six books a week. But in the last probably ten years, I haven't been reading as many books as I used to, just with working and that. Um, even when I was on the road trucking, I'd be reading a book when I should have been sleeping. And I loved zebra romance novels. So I guess romance novels are my favorite. Pizza topping is pepperoni. Pretty simple, pretty basic. Just light on the cheese and pepperoni. And I, I do like mine well done. My favorite pastime. That's easy. Knitting and crocheting. Uh, and I have to say too, spending time with my grandbabies when, I, when I'm down home. I love spending time with my grandbabies. Favorite TV series. I, 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 I don't know. I'm going to drink here. I like to watch the older shows, but I have a few that are kind of tied. I, I love The Big Bang Theory. Um, Charmed. Um, Three's Company. All in the Family. I like shows from that era. There's really nothing. The only show in recent times that was on Netflix that I liked was um, Lucifer and Merlin. But I don't watch a whole lot of TV. Um, yesterday, Barb and I decided that while Warren was working, we would watch a couple of chick movies. And we watched Dirty Dancing and Burlesque. Favorite fruit? Peach. I love peaches. Favorite veggie? Any vegetable. I love all vegetables. The only one I won't eat is okra. I love spinach, I love lima beans, Brussels sprouts, all the things people don't like, I like. Um, but the only one I don't like is okra. Favorite subject in high school, maths and Latin. Those were my two favorite subjects. I love math and Latin. I love, I, straight A's in Latin, loved it. Favorite actor. Well, I have favorite actors for different reasons. There's a handful. They're all kind of tied. But, and you guys let me know in the comments what you think. Sam Elliott, sexiest man alive. Boy, that man is just mm, yummy. And it does, he, he looked good. I think he looks better now, the older he's gotten. But, he, yeah, I just love Sam Elliott. Um, I loved Patrick Swayze. Um, I, I loved all his movies. 
Sean Connery. Yeah, another good looking man. Older he got. But I'd have to say, if I had to pick one, it'd be Sam Elliott. I just, two years to a hundred years. Any woman I talk to thinks he's just the sexiest man alive. Favorite singer? Mm, it depends what genre of music you're listening to. Um, I have a lot of favorites. I can't pick one in particular because I, I, the variety of music I listen to is so different. I mean, I love Barbra Streisand. I like her music. I don't do politics. I love her music. Um, Shawn Menendez. I like... Uh, I loved Kenny Rogers. Um, I, 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 there's just too many to name. I just I just love singers. My favorite superhero. My favorite superhero are the firefighters, the policemen, police women, military. Those to me, the doctors and the nurses fighting this, are my superheroes. They're my superheroes. Favorite comedian. Now, Jeff Dunham. I like Jeff Dunham. He makes me laugh. And it takes a lot to make me get an outright giggle or belly laugh. And he seems to do it. I love Peanut. Mm, I just love that character. My favorite season is summer. I like it hot. I don't like it humid, but I love hot weather. My favorite movie. There is a handful of movies that are all tied that I will sit one night and I have all of them on DVD or Blu-ray. And I'll watch them. And that is Steel Magnolias. Ghost, Dirty Dancing, Runaway Bride, I, Man Burlesque is up there too, I will watch them over and over and over and over, but my favorite movie of all time, and I cannot find it anywhere, and I have looked, is Rodgers and Hammerstein's Cinderella with Stuart Damien and Leslie Ann Warren. That is my favorite movie of all time. I used to watch it every year when it came on when I was young. And it was usually followed by The Wizard of Oz the same week. My favorite smell, any of the clean, fresh scents. Um, I burn Febreze aloe in my craft room. I love the tropical breeze and I love cotton and linen. Magnolia, I love jasmine. But the clean smells, I don't like, I do not like any food smells. And my, I just, I detest vanilla. I do not like vanilla at all. Sorry, Ross, I know that's your favorite smell. No, but I don't like vanilla. There is no picking a favorite kid. I love both my boys equally. Love my grandkids equally. So, nope, me picking a favorite kid. My favorite decade... Wow. Actually, I was born probably a hundred years too late. I love the Victorian era. That's the time I think I would have... I loved clothes. I loved the politeness in society and stuff like that. So it had to be the Victorian era. And my favorite YouTube channel? Uh, there's knitting and crocheting are my favorite YouTube channels you have a knitting or crocheting channel and I'm subscribed to a lot of them you're my favorite channels so I hope that helped you get to know me a little bit better and I'm going to tag Mary at Mary's Crochet Chit Chat I'm going to tag hmm I had I didn't I, these are wrote down at the house I'm sitting in the car I'm going to tag Leah of Leah's Handmade Crafts these will all be in the description, the description uh, down below. Um, I also want to tag Not Quite Enough Yarn podcast Cass from the We So and So project. I want to tag oh my heavens there's so many to tag I'm trying to think who has already done theirs. Um, Judy from Witch Piece Craft. I don't know if she has been tagged, but I'm going to tag you, Judy. And I want to tag Ruby Stedman. I, I don't know if she'll do it, but I love Ruby's channel. She has a great channel. So, and anybody else that wants to participate, feel free to hop on 
the favorites bus and let us know a little bit more about you. So with that being said, I'm now going to read from Tales from a Small Island, the one we were going to do the other day, that is, it's uh, these two pages and, well, maybe we won't read that one. That one has to be because it's like uh, six pages long, but I'll pick one. I'm just going to go like this, open up, The Cat and the Rabbit. This one right here. I once had a cat and a rabbit who were the best of friends. When the rabbit was very small, I kept him in a pen near my home. One summer morning when I went out to feed him, I heard a pitiful mewing sound and discovered a little half-starved stray kitten in the pen with him. What a sight he was, nearer dead than alive, and so wild I couldn't catch him. From then on, the meals carried to the pen would include not only the usual carrots and clover, but a dish of warm milk and a plate of meat, fish, or cat food. By summer's end, the once miserable little kitten had emerged into a healthy, handsome, young Tom, and the rabbit had grown even more. Although the cat could climb out to the roof of the pen, he would never stray far from it, or his newfound adopted brother. By now, the nearby fields and woods were beckoning to the rabbit, so I opened the pen and let him go, but neither the cat nor the rabbit strayed very far. Each night, I would let them into a small workshop located near my home, which was heated in the winter. The cat, still about half the size of the rabbit, would sleep either cuddled up near the rabbit or draped over his neck or back. And when spring arrived again, I would watch them go out in the meadow together each morning, the cat running ahead, then waiting as the rabbit nibbled his way through a patch of clover. When night fell, back they would come together. I was told on several occasions that cats would kill rabbits, but apparently no one had told my cat. They were now truly brothers, one with a short tail and long ears, the other with a long tail and short ears. One often hears the expression, dumb animals, but it appears to me that the inhabitants of this earth who disagree and fight and kill because of linguistic, racial, religious, or political differences could learn a lot from my cat and rabbit. How poignant that is. And you saw me, I just opened the book and picked one. You know what they say, divine providence, that that was a good message to have for today considering where we're at in the world. So I hope you enjoyed that little installment from Tales from a Small Island by Sterling Lambert. And I hope you will continue to tune in to see what the podcast has to bring. The weather's starting to break. It's getting nicer. So we'll be able to go out and about and get some more footage from the island. Um, and you have a great day. Be safe. Wash your hands. Do your social distancing. And I will chat at you again soon. Thank you. Bye from Deer Island.